Hey, Mark Shepard here, and I want to talk a little bit about Beyond Beliefs, my new course, and why it's important and why it's something that you actually should pay attention to and explore. Give it a full test drive because beliefs are really, really important, and we don't often realize as we go through our day how often our, our actions and our reactions to other people, to the world, to our own moods, are the result of these filters that we call beliefs. And just a couple of thoughts that I wanted to add here. Beliefs are important because who you believe yourself to be determines the kind of life that you're going to live. I wanna say that again. Beliefs are important because who you believe yourself to be determines the kind of life you're gonna live. For example, if you believe that you can uh, express yourself clearly and articulately, then you will. If you believe you can't and that whenever you're asked to speak in public, you get all tongue-tied and flustered and you can look back at a bunch of experiences in your life, what we call evidence, evidence procedures, where you just stack up all the times when you tried to speak in public and got flustered, right? But if you trace that whole pattern back, you will often find a belief underneath the beliefs, underneath the beliefs, there are levels of beliefs, that maybe you're not good enough or you're not smart enough or nobody listens to me or some of the stuff that's constantly going on kind of beneath the surface of our conscious awareness. And so the big process for me with, with Beyond Beliefs, this course, is learning how to, first of all, discover what is it that you actually believe and how is it keeping you from blossoming? How is it keeping you from flourishing? And you may have some very positive beliefs. I have a pretty positive belief that I am a really good songwriter. I, I'm a compulsive songwriter, and I mean that in the best way. I love songs and I have songs running through my head and I'm really good at it. I had another belief, a limiting belief that I wasn't good with money, right? Or that I'm not good at getting my songs out into the world. And I could focus from that belief on all the times I've attempted to get my music out into the world or to make a living from my music and have not succeeded the way I quote unquote thought I should succeed, unquote. Or I can look at the fact that one of my songs, Together We Could Change the World, is being sung all over the world. I could look at the, uh, the songs, the, the YouTube videos that I've put up over the years that have had hundreds of thousands of views, and, and I could basically use the evidence to convince myself to change the belief, but I still have to change the belief, right? And so this course is all about how to A, discover what beliefs are operating and the ones that are hurting you, the ones that are helping you, and B, how to actually get rid of the ones that are hurting you and install, process C, install a belief that actually does help you. And one example of this, at the beginning of teaching this course, uh, basically two months ago now, I recognize that, you know what, even though I've done a lot of work on it, I still have this belief that somehow I'm not good with money. And so I literally change that belief. I'll, I'll teach you a technique in the course on how to literally just move limiting beliefs off your mental movie screen. And I pulled in a new belief that I'm good with money and then kind of locked it into place. And what has happened in the course of the last couple of months is I've just naturally found myself fascinated with money and how the economy works. I've been studying central banking. I've been studying the stock market. I've been studying uh, the crash of 2008, the, uh, the real estate bubbles of uh, the uh, late 1980s and the real estate bubble in 2008 um, and the Great Depression. I've been just studying what is money and I'm just fascinated with it. All of a sudden, I'm actually pretty good with money. I'm, it's kind of a weird thing. And so when we make the changes to our beliefs, change can be instant, which is really cool. 
Although a lot of people will tell you that, well, I, I was fine for a week, but then I kind of went back to the old way. Yes, we make the change and then we have to reinforce it. So the course not only has how to discover what your limiting beliefs are, it not only has how to change those limiting beliefs, but it, limiting beliefs, but it also has how to support and reinforce the new way of being in the world and to build evidence consciously to support the beliefs you know will get you where you want to go faster, easier, better. Let's see if there's anything else I have here. Uh, beliefs are everything because they drive our actions or inactions. Here's, a, here's the final point I want to make in this short video. And that is if you believe that nothing you do matters, let's say for me, like no matter what I do, I can never get my music out. So therefore, why bother, right? That's a belief that's causing inaction. But if I believe, you know what, it may take me the rest of my life, but somehow, some way, I'm going to get my music out into the world and I'm going to touch the lives of millions of people in a positive way with my music and make a really abundant, prosperous, healthy, sustainable, congruent living from my music. And not just from my music, from my courses, from my uh, concerts, from my programs, from my workshops, from all the different things I do from my books, from, from my appearances, from my talks, right? If I include all those things, not just music, then I open up a whole new possibility if I believe that it's possible, right? And if I believe it's possible and it may take a long time, then I'm not discouraged if I don't have instant success. Does that make sense? So your beliefs, the things that you believe to be true about yourself are true because you believe them, but they're only true because you believe them and have built evidence to support that belief. Does that make sense? So who you really are, this, this character I'm playing called Mark Shepard, there's lots of different versions of him. And why not take a step back from behind the personality? And this is, this gets us into deep spiritual kinds of things where, you know, who is the person thinking your thoughts? Who is the thinker of your thoughts? Who is the being that's experiencing your life as it has been so far, right? Who is remembering the memories? Who is reminding you that you are a certain way, right? What if you could rewrite the script and essentially beliefs are the script of our lives. And if you have beliefs that support you, you can pretty much go anywhere you want, do anything you want to do, be who you want to be, have what you want to have, experience the best of what life has to offer. And millions of people are discovering that, oh, I'm going to die. This is my, this is my one and only lifetime, whether or not you believe in past lives or not. This is what you're playing with right now. So why not turn it into something that's fabulous and the very process of working on turning it into something fabulous is an amazing project. It's an, it feels so good. So I want you to check this out. I want you to, I, from my heart, I want you to at least give this a shot. Check it out. I think it's the best course I've ever taught. And I'm about to, I think I've, I've pretty much wrapped it up and I'm about to raise the price. I'm about to really send it out in a much bigger way out into the world. And I'd like you to get in on it before it's expensive, before other people have a chance to explore it. I want you to explore it first. I want you to get in there and really start practicing some of the ideas and let me know how you're doing because that jazzes me. That, that fills me up and builds evidence for my new belief that I'm here to make a positive difference in the world through my music, through my words, through my actions, through my courses, through my books, through my ideas, through the, the research that I do every single day to find a better way to have a healthy body, to find a better way to have healthy relationships, to find a better way, multiple better ways to experience the kind of work and career that you want to that makes you happy, that makes you feel like, wow, I can hardly wait to get to work today, or I can hardly wait to get to my desk, or I can hardly wait to get to my computer, or I can hardly wait to get outside to my farm, or I can hardly wait to go 
build my new invention or I can hardly wait to go work with clients. Whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you're passionate about, that turns you on, that excites you, that charges you up, if you have a set of beliefs that supports it, you can do it. But if you have a set of beliefs, even a few beliefs that sabotage it, you will never get there. And I'm so adamant about that. The beliefs we have and the, the, the ability we have to control and change and, and install new powerful supportive beliefs is pretty much the Rosetta Stone. It is the key to everything. It's not the only thing, but it is pretty much almost everything. <laughs> so that's it for now. My name is Mark Shepard. Please check out the course. There's a money back guarantee. I want you to be happy. I want to make a difference in your life. I want to have my work do something that can make your life spark and flame in the best, most possible way to just ignite your creativity, your power, your passion, your purpose, your path with heart. So I invite you from my heart, come on in, check it out, and I will see you on the inside. 